Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bill Chen. I'm Nima Kung. I'm Ben Chen. In this class, I'll read all of your part of The Lead of Omer. S. Oh. The Lead of Homer. Theodora Wall Buckley. Feb. 1668. Entries. Oft in air blown. The board looks crackle. And the sovens groan. This way and that. The rattling thicket bends. And the whole first in one crash sends. Not with less noise. With less tumultuous rage. In dreadful shock the mingled hosts engage. Dart sure and darts. Now round the cockace ring. Now flights of arrows banding from the string. Stones follow stones. Some clatter on the fields. Some hard. And heavy. Shake the sounding shields. But where the rising woe encouds the plains. Sunken soft as the mighty chief remains. And the. Stretched in death. Forgets the guiding reins. Now flaming from the zenith. His fervid orb through half the vault of heaven. The shoring darts. And numbers sink to hell. But when his evening wheels was rung the main, God's conquest rested on the Grecian train. Then from amidst the tumult and alarms, they draw the conquered course on radiant arms. Then rash Patroclus with new fury goes, and breathing slaughter, pours amid the foes. Thrice on the press like Mars and Sophie flew, and thrice three heroes at each unset slew. There ends thy glory, the last black remnant of so bright a line. A follow dreadful stops thy middle way. Death calls, and heaven allows no longer a day. For lo, the god in dusky clouds enshrined, approaching dealt a stickering blow behind. The witty shock his neck and shoulders feel. His as flushed sparkles in giddy darkness, far at a distance flung. His banding helmet on the champagne ring. Achilles plumed state with distant gore. That plume which never stooped to earth before, long used, untouched, in fighting fields to shine, and shade the temples of the mad divine. Jove dooms it now on Hector's helm to nod. Not long for fate pursues him. And the god. His spear in shivers falls. Drops from his arm. His baldric strows the field. The car let his astonished breast for six. Loses each strain. Each nerve with her shakes. Stupidity stares. And all else is this stands. Such is the force of more than mortal hands. At Arden youth there was. One owned to fame. From Banthus sprung. Euphobus was his name. Famed for the manage of the foaming horse. Skilled in the dart. A matchless in the course. For twenty nights he tumbled from the car. While yet he learned his rudiments of war. His venture at spear first drew the hero's gore. He struck. He wounded. But he durst no more. Nor, though disarmed, Ashokla's fury stood. But swift withdrew the long protended wood. And turned him short. 
and heard it in the crowd. That, by an am divine, I'm mortal sparrow, winded, at once, Patroclus yields to fear, retires to succor to his social train, and flies the fate, which heaven decreed, in vain, stone Hector, as the bleeding chief he views, breaks through the ranks, and his retreat pursues. The lance arrests him with the mortal wound. He falls. I thundered. And his arms resound. With him all Greece was sunk. Her yet surviving heroes seem to fall. So. Scotch with heat. On the desert score. The roaming lion meets a bristly boar. Thus by the spring. They both dispute the flood with flaming eyes, angels besmert with blood. At length the sovereign savage wins the strife, and the torn boar resigns his thirst in life. Hytrick was thus. So many chisos thrown, so many lives effused, expires his own. As dying now at Hector's feet he lies. He sternly views him and triumphant cries. By there, Atroquas, and with thee, thy pride once promised of subverting Troy. The fancied scenes of villain wrapped in flames, and thy of pleasure served with captive dames. Unthinking man, I put those terrors to free, and guard that be out of race from wars like thee. But thou, preacher vulture, shalt be made. Thy own Achilles cannot lend thee aid. Though much up parting that great chief might say, and much enjoin thee this important day. Return not. My brave friend, perhaps he said. He spoke. Patroclus marched, supine, and wildly gazing on the skies, with faint, expiring breath. The chief replies, Vain boaster, this, and know the powers divine. Jove's and Apollo's is this deed, not thine. Heaven is owed wait to your own you call, and heaven itself disarm me or my fall. Add twenty mortals, each thy match in might. Pose me fairly, they had sunk in fight. By fate and this was I first to his throne. Euphibus next, the third mean part thy own. But thou, imperious. Hear my latest breath. The gods inspire it. Understand thy death. Insulting man. Thou shalt be soon as I. Thack fate outrings thee. And thy are draws nigh. Even now on life's last verge I see thee stand. I see thee fall. He faints. The soul unwilling wings her way flits to the lone, uncomfortable coast, a naked, wandering, melancholy ghost, then Hector pausing, on the pale carcase, that suggests the dead, from whence this boding speech, of death denounced, or why denounced to me, to Hector's lance, ends if he sits, his breathless bosom, tore the lance away, and upwards cast the course.
he shakes and charges the bold charioteer, wrapped in the chariot o'er the distant plains. Far from his rage, the immortal curses drove. The immortal curses were the gift of Jove. To be continued.